okay so now we will create all of our functions so if you open up this uh, database dot dot file inside the query data folder and as you can see right here we are passing the user id from this underscore form dot dot file as you can see right here database dot user id so it is passing right here so now the first function we need to create is for the add item as you see in the introductory video when a user click on that floating button okay that plus button and the user fill the form the title and the description so for that we will create a function and then we will store that title and description inside our database okay right here so here we will type static then future void the function name will be add item and right here we will add curly braces and then a semicolon so inside here we will type required string first we will create a variable for the title then for the description and now in here we will say document reference then document reference will be equals to underscore main collection dot doc right here we will pass the user id because we want to store the user id as well and then the collection path will be we will name it as items then dot doc and that's it then right here we will type map then string then dynamic and data will be equals to string dynamic right here the title will be equals to the title which the user enters in the text field and then the description will be equals to the description that the user will enter in the text field and right here we will add a semicolon and from here remove that and right here we will type await then document reference dot set data dot when complete so right here it will not be null we will print some text and the text will be let us say not item inserted to the database and then right here we will say dot catch error so if it catch any error then what we will do is to simply print that error so in this function what we are doing is that we are taking the title and description from the user and we are storing that title and description inside that user unique id uh, for example if there is some user which is one two three four five six if he post something then the user which unique id will be something like this he will not be able to see the data of this user okay so that's why we are taking the user id so now the next function which we will be needing is for updating that item as you see in the introductory video we can also update our item so for that right here we will type static then future void and then the function name will be update item and this will be a async so we will type async then right here what we will be updating is the 
title so we will type required string then title and after this the next one will be required string description and the next one will be the doc id so now inside this async what we will do is to type document reference then document reference will be equals to underscore main collection dot doc then right here we will use the user id okay we will get inside that user id and then the collection path is as you know we name it as item then after this we will type doc and then right here we will pass the doc id that's it after this right here we will say map and this is same as this one so we can just simply copy this from here remove this and paste that down below and after this this line is also same so we can just simply copy this line and paste it after this map string so paste it right here but we need to just remove this from here and change this to updated so not item updated in the database and if it catches any error then we will simply show that error or print so as you know this is just a simple function for updating the title description in the doc id and after this the next function which we will be needing is for showing or reading the items okay because we need to show the items on the home screen as well so for that we will create a function so we will type static then we will type stream and in here we will type query snapshot and then the function name will be let's just say read items right here we will type collection reference then we will type not or uh, notes item collection and this will be equals to underscore main collection dot doc then we will pass the user id then the collection path will be items and after this right here we will say return notes item collection dot snapshot and that's it so it will return all of the data stored in the items collection path so this read item function will simply read all of the items in the collection path items and then we will show it to the user on the home screen so the next function is for deleting the item so we will say static future then void and we will name this as delete item and this is a async function so we will type async as well in here we just uh, want the doc id okay or the user id because once we have the user id we can just simply remove that item by using the user id so now we have the user id so in the async we will type document reference then document reference will be equals to underscore main collection dot doc and in the top we will pass the user id then dot collection path and the collection path will be item items and then we will type dot doc and we will pass the doc id that's it and after this right here we will type await then document reference dot delete dot when complete and right here we will print a error so we can just copy this from here and paste it right here but we will change this text to not item deleted from the database 
and right here we will say dot catch error so if it catches any error then we will simply print that error so now all of our functions are now complete the first one is the add item then the update item then we have the read item and then the delete item so these are all the function which we will be needing inside our application in the upcoming videos so now we don't need to worry about the functions because we already created them and once we will be using this then i will tell you that where we need to use this update item or add item function